Hi guys, this is a reading to see who is coming towards you guys and what the hell they want, okay? So, we're going to start with four cards. Please show me who's coming towards Capricorn with four cards initially, please. Who's coming towards Capricorn? Please show me who's coming towards Capricorn. Capricorn, please show me who's coming towards Capricorn. We have a page of swords, air energy, Gemini, Gemini Libra, Aquarius, gracious. <clears throat> Somebody that I feel like is a little standoffish. Um, I'm getting sly, not necessarily sneaky. This person acts like they're shy, but I don't think they're really shy. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, primarily. Hmm. Let's see, one more card. Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy right there. Huh. This is somebody who... They're... They almost come across as paranoid, um, feeling like, you know, if, if they give of themselves fully, that they're going to be hurt. So this person is very, very cautious, whoever this is. Um, they want to offer their emotions to you, but there's something that's like keeping them from fully doing that. They're very guarded, whoever this is. And this person does not want to be hurt. Nobody does. But this person takes extra steps to not be hurt. And that involves not approaching at all. And I see them like making baby steps because they definitely love you guys. Um, and I feel like they want to tell you. But in telling you, they feel like they could be hurt. So it's a little odd. <clears throat> Please show me more about this Page of Swords energy. Please show me more about the Page of Swords. Please show me more about the Page of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. This person is very protective of you. They want to care for you. They want to build with you. I feel like they've, they've been going through um, this process of working on themselves because initially this person was very, very defensive and standoffish. I see them coming out of their shell very slowly, though, is the thing. Almost like a turtle. But um, very cautious, very cautious. They definitely have love for you. They, they care for you. They want to have a conversation with you. But I feel like right now they're merely observing. Um, observing you guys maybe your social media um, just watching your actions okay they're not trying to come into any situation like fully they're not trying to come into it jump into it with both feet <clears throat> but I see them wanting to um, work things out with you hmm. build something with you have something committed I'm very protective of you guys. Please show me more about the Ace of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Hmm. Aries Leo Sag. Energy here. And the Queen of Wands is 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 a very caring um, queen. She takes on a lot of responsibilities, but she she does it with grace, though. She doesn't do it begrudgingly. It's almost like she feels like it's her job to do this for the people that she cares about. So this could definitely be an Aries individual here for a lot of you. Um, Aries, Taurus, Cusper, and Sagittarius air energy is here again Virgo is here very attractive person I feel like this person can be stern though and they can also 
come across as um, mean. They can be snappy at times, whoever this is. Yeah, I feel strong Aries because, you know, Aries, they're the babies of the Zodiac. And I don't feel like this is a kid. I don't feel like this is um, an immature person. I feel like this person, when they lose their temper or when they're hurt, um, they can lash out is the thing. <clears throat> Please show me more about the Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Strong Taurus energy here. This person's contemplating, like, is this worth me investing more time into? Should I wait longer? Should I, should I, you know, do something different? It's like this, this is what's holding them back. They're very, like, defensive. At the same time, they care for you. They want to protect you. They want to be there for you. But... They feel slighted for some reason. This person feels slighted. Hmm. Please show me more about the Nine of Wands. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Right now, this person is feeling um, emotionally uh, sound. And they're trying to protect that. They don't want anything to interfere with that. And they're willing to protect that at all costs. But I feel like because we have an ace here and we have the ten here. So I'm feeling like there was this person's very protective because you guys were together and they were happy with you. But something happened to cause them to be very cautious um, towards you guys and contemplate like leaving and investing elsewhere with someone else or in other situations. But they can't help but care for you because they do love you. But something, there's something. Um, this person's angry though. Like, I don't feel like, you know, they'll have these like outbursts, but there's something underlying here with them that, um, I don't know, is, is, is anger. And they, you, they may not even show it, but it's, it's underneath the surface. What, is, what does this person really want with Capricorn? What does this person really want with Capricorn? What do they really want with Capricorn? Look at that. They want to be successful with you. They want good luck with you. The will of fortune here. They want something to change in this situation so you guys can move forward. This is Piscean Sagittarius energy here. Okay, look at that underneath the deck, the star. They want it all with you. But they're leery. For some odd reason, only you guys know. Let's see if I can pull a card to see. Why is this person so cautious? Why are they so cautious? Why are they so cautious? I want them to come out. Hmm. You know, I'm getting that this person feels like, you know, your feelings are not as deep as theirs. Feeling like it's primarily a sexual thing for you guys. Like it's not deep. And they're afraid they're going to be hurt. And they're afraid also that you're not going to want to um, and embark on this this journey with them, um, go forward with them. 
start over with them, reciprocate what it is that they are actually trying to do with you. So this person's, I'm feeling like they're, they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of being hurt again. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.